That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. A lot of my recent episodes have featured some pretty hard to find crankbaits. That is not the case today. I will be fishing with a pretty common crankbait that you can find on Amazon. So hopefully I'll be able to catch some fish with it. I, uh, I just realized I forgot my backpack. I was almost to the fishing spot. Now I have to, uh, I have to head all the way back home. So today is starting off pretty good. Well, I had to, uh, I had to go all the way back home to get my backpack, but I have it now and I am near my fishing location. It is through these woods. So once I get there, I'll show you guys what exactly I'll be fishing with. All right, guys, I made it out to the fishing spot. There is not much bank access in this part of the lake. So I'm very limited on fishing locations. This is where I'm gonna start out first. The crankbait that I'll be using today is made by Rebel and I've used a ton of their lures in the past. I've always been very impressed, but I've never tried out this little Helgramite. It, uh, I found it on Amazon. It's very interesting looking. I'm hoping that I'll be able to catch some bass with it today, but we shall find out. I actually bought two of these. One is a lot more natural looking than the other. I'm gonna start out with a more natural looking one because this water, it is fairly clear. So I think this one might do a little better. If not, I'll switch over to the other, but I'm excited to see what it looks like in the water and if I'll be, and if I'll be able to catch some fish. All right, so it slowly sinks and it has a really wide wobble to it. I was not expecting that. It actually looks really cool in the water. I don't think I have a crankbait that actually has that same action. The wobble is just crazy wide on this thing, but let's see if I can catch some fish with it. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Whew, it scared me. Something absolutely destroyed it right as I was pulling out of the water, but they didn't get hooked up. Darn. Oh, there's a fish. Holy cow. This chubby little bass hit it right up next to the lay down. That was insane. See you later, buddy. It's taking some time, but I finally caught my first fish. That bass was actually hanging out right underneath me, underneath this log, which makes sense because this water is really clear. And this, uh, when the sun pops out, it's really bright. So I'm gonna target some of these more shaded areas with this crankbait and hopefully catch some more. Oh, there's a fish. Looks like a little red ear. See you later, buddy. Another cool little feature I didn't realize is that these little legs are actually flexible. I thought they were hard plastic, but they're actually some sort of rubber. I thought that was a nice little touch. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. I'm not too sure what this is. Very cool looking though. Oh, there we go. This guy came out of nowhere. See you later, buddy. Here is, here's the deal. I've been walking for at least a mile and a half. I don't know. I've started, I started a ways away from where I am at this moment. Fishing's been pretty slow. So I'm actually going to an area of the lake that is a little bit more open up. So there's not as much moss to hopefully catch that big fish using this little Helgramite crankbait. I think it's possible. Let's do it. Oh, there's a fish. Yes, <laughs> a little bass. I will take it. See you later, buddy. That is not the size of fish that I am after today, but after walking almost two miles with hardly any bites, I will, I will take that. Oh, there's one. Another bass. See you later, buddy. This spot is proving to be the best spot I fished today. There's another one. These little bass are loving this crankbait. <gasps> Ow! Mm, you got me. Ah. See you later, buddy. Oh, 
this feels like a nice one. There we go. See you later, buddy. The fishing slowed down at that last spot, so I'm actually heading to a new location. But overall, I am very impressed with this little Helgramite crankbait. It's actually pretty effective at catching bass. Granted, I have not caught any big ones, but the day is not over yet. I don't know much about this insect. It's very interesting looking, um, pretty creepy looking, but I imagine it might like rocks. I don't know. I'm gonna toss it around here, see if I can get anything to go for it. Change of plans. I was going to fish the dam, but I could see the air conditioning spillway and water's coming out of it right now, which means uh, there could be some decent bass over there. So I'm gonna hike all the way around the lake almost to get to this little spillway to toss this crankbait to hopefully catch that big fish. All right guys, I finally made it to the little spillway. Sorry about the noise. It is very loud here, but hopefully there's some decent sized bass hanging out off these rocks. Holy cow. Oh my God. Holy smokes. He felt a lot bigger in the current, but I will take it. Oh my gosh. He creamed it. Dang. This bass felt like a five pounder in that current when he hit that crankbait. That was crazy. Let's see if I can catch something a little bit bigger. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh my gosh, please stay on. Oh my gosh. Please stay on. Holy smokes. Oh, it's a nice bass. Holy cow. Dang, this guy's a fighter. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Holy smokes. See you later, buddy. That was awesome. That was the type of fish I was hoping to catch today. He put up a crazy fight in this current. I cannot believe I was actually able to land him. That was awesome. I was actually experimenting with a new retrieve, sort of treating this like a little jerk bait and uh, twitching it instead of just slowly reeling it in. And that big bass came along and smacked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to replicate that because uh, it seemed to work. Ooh. Oh, there's a fish. It's a little red ear. Like a nice little bluegill. Oh, see you later, buddy. Fish on. I think this is the smallest fish of the day. Looks like a little bluegill. See you later, buddy. Another little bluegill. Well guys, unfortunately I'm all out of time, but I still had a lot of fun today and I did complete my goal of catching a nice fish using this little Helgramite crankbait. I was very impressed with this thing's action in the water. So if you guys are interested, I will link it down in the description. But I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. <gasps> Ow, mm. he got me. Ah, well that hurt.